Hello there and welcome to this CS Watch OCR J276 video where we are going to be looking at RAM and ROM. So we're going to be looking at what RAM and ROM is, how they're uh, used by the computer and the differences between RAM and ROM itself. So RAM stands for Random Access Memory. Uh, it can be written to and open so information can be saved to it and um, it can open up information as well. It's classified as volatile memory. So what that means is it's a temporary form of memory. It needs power uh, to be able to retain its information, so when it loses the power, the information goes. Um, RAM sticks um, are used inside a motherboard for RAM, and they literally just look like little rectangle pieces of data, and they can be plugged in quite easily. When uh, there is a piece of software or an operating system being used, a copy of it is made into the RAM. So at the moment, um, in my RAM, I would have my video capture software. I'd also be having Firefox, PowerPoint, and also World of Warcraft cheekily downloading in the background. Um, when something's finished, so when I close um, Google Chrome or if I close World of Warcraft, uh, the copy of it is then removed from the RAM. So if something is open, if there's a file open, there's a copy of it held in the RAM. As soon as the file is closed, it goes out from the RAM. Uh, RAM memory is slower than CPU cache memory, uh, but it's faster than secondary storage. So when something's in the RAM, it can be accessed and edited uh, a lot quicker than it was in secondary storage. This then speeds up the um, effective usage of the PC. If everything was just being held in secondary storage, it would take time for things to get edited, things to get changed, things to get opened. When it's copied in the RAM because it's faster than secondary storage, you can do stuff with it, you can work with it. Whereas ROM stands for read-only memory. It can only be read, uh, hence read-only. It's non-volatile. Uh, ROM is found on the motherboard on a little chip. Um, and you really don't want to be changing the ROM because the ROM contains the BIOS and that stands for Basic Input Output System. And what that does is when the PC starts up, uh, the CPU goes to the ROM and says, right, give me the information for setting up the PC. Uh, give me information for uh, setting up the keyboard, the monitor, so I can know what's going on. All that information is held in the BIOS, um, which is stored on the ROM. If you start mucking about in the BIOS, um, it can be a lot harder for your PC to stand up and you can quite easily break it bad times. So in this video, we've been looking at uh, RAM and ROM, why, import, why they're so important. Um, thinking about the difference between volatile memory, which is RAM, when the PC uh, gets turned off, the information goes, whereas ROM is non-volatile. You don't want to be losing the information that's held in the BIOS, because then your PC won't be able to start up. The ROM helps the computer to start up, it's got all the instructions stored in there, whereas the RAM copies files and software which are open. So then uh, the PC can access it at a much faster um, data rate. I hope this video has been helpful for you. I hope you're happy with the differences between RAM and ROM. Uh, and I'll see you in another, another video. See you later.